as the sports on the pulse, a 1972 Olympic bronze medalist Prince Amate has been honored with a fully stocked mini mat by the Ghana Armed Forces for his service to the nation. The 77-year-old uh, who is now in a wheelchair has had many economic and health struggles over the years and currently lives with his family in the Volta Regional Capital Hall. Amate also served in the army as a corporal. A brief commissioning ceremony held at the 66th Artillery Regiment of the Volta Barracks in Ho was performed by the Chief of Defence Staff Vice Admiral Set Amwama. Nathaniel Atto was at the ceremony for Joy News. We've just arrived at the Air Force Base in Ho, the Volta Regional Capital, where the Chief of Defence Staff, Vice Admiral Seth Amwama, is having his uh, welcome parade. Now, this was just completed and he's inspecting a guard that has been erected. What is happening today? Well, several de uh, decades ago, the fine gentleman called Prince Amate from Ghana won a medal in the middleweight division at the Olympic Games. Years on, he seems to be suffering a bit of a destitute life. At this time, the Chief of Defence Staff together with a few individuals are going over to his place of residence to honor him. Welcome. Director General Personnel Administration, General Headquarters of the Ghana Armed Forces, Mr. Amar Petio, Board Chairman of Services Integrity Savings and Loan, Major Retired Amar Petio, sorry, who is the Board Chair of the Services Integrity Savings and Loans. Directors from the General Headquarters of the Ghana Armed Forces, esteemed members of the Regional Sports Council and the Boxing Association, the Esquire Prince Amate himself and the family, the media, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. On behalf of officers, soldiers, civil employees, and families of this regiment, I want to warmly welcome you to the 66th Artillery Regiment, the home of Ghana. About two months ago, the regiment was officially tasked by the military high command to construct, supervise, and see to the management of a well stocked shop, which we are about to hand over to support the sustenance and well being of S. Kaparamati, considering his contribution to the nation in Ghana Armed Forces in the area of force. This was in response to a request made by the family, the military high command. I want to seize this opportunity to thank the chief of the defense staff and the military high command for their confidence reposed in me and the regiment in this regard. Initially, the plan was to establish the shop in town, but command thought it wise to act in the vicinity of the water barracks to ensure security and effective supervision of the facilities. 
the family was invited and informed about this wonderful project and they agreed and expressed their appreciation to the High Command. A committee led by myself was established to see to the realization of these projects. And I uh, thank the members of this committee, especially the real Guru Jonathan, for their wonderful efforts. In 1972, uh, I was the officer, the armed forces, the officer in charge of boxing, together with the flight lieutenant Rollins, and uh, together we produced 80% of the boxers of the armed forces, and by far the best among them was Prince Amati. We were so proud of him, and we are still very proud of him. A national hero in his own right. Recently, uh, he's fallen on hard times, and this has been brought to our attention by Mr. Noretti. Alberto Noretti, we thank you very much. We thank you very, very much indeed. The plight, the plight of uh, Prince Amate has been uh, brought to the national attention by Mr. Noretti, and we are very grateful for that. Uh, Prince was a beneficiary of the GW Amate Fuel Endowment Fund, and uh, he used to come every other month to collect something from the fund. We have not seen him for the past year and a half, and then we saw the article in the papers, and then, then I invited Amaki, uh, his daughter, to uh, come with me to the uh, Chief of Defense Staff. She obliged, presented the petition, and the Chief of Defense Staff did not hesitate, did, did not and I'm so grateful to him for this honor to this deserving national hero.